So this is a walk around video of the BSH Future Bike. It's still going. It was built in originally 1983 or 84. No one's entirely sure because it was such a long time ago. You know, God, people, there are, there are people reading this magazine who haven't been alive that long. So anyway, it was originally a 754 Honda built by RG and supposed to be the bike that would survive the Third World War, possibly. You know. uh, it came out, was built around the same time as uh, Mad Max 2 came out, so you can kind of see where the uh, the idea came from. Uh, it has changed a bit over the years, but it still retains its essential future bikeness. It's still got the four shock absorbers. It's still got all the metal work on it. Um, over the years, some, some extra metal work has come and gone, and some of it's been taken off because police can get really quite upset about being long spikes. But it's done. I don't know. I dread to think how many miles it's done these days uh, on whichever engine it is, because it was a 754 until 2005 when the motor exploded in northern Spain and uh, northern Sweden, I should say. Uh, and then it became a Z900 for a little while, and then it was a GSX-R750, which it was what, for a few years, and then I wore the engine out on that, and it's now a GSX-R1100 engine. Um, which, as you can imagine, is just ever so slightly terrifying when you've only got a single disc brake up the front and most cross forks. But, yeah, life would be dull, wouldn't it, if, uh, if everything was sensible. So we'll just have a quick walk around. As you can see, the wheels are these days KR1S Kawasaki, because they were originally spoked, but they fell apart through age. Uh, the forks are white powers, uh, allegedly off KTM, but I'm not entirely sure. But the amusing thing is, when I had a, an insurance quote for them years ago, a bloke said to me, get a, get a, get a price on replacing them, even though they weren't damaged, because I've actually written it off twice, I think, and had it rebuilt. Um, <laughs> and I rang up white power and said to them, I've got a pair of these, whatever they are. And the bloke went, oh, God, they're old. Uh, right then, we'll, um, we'll have a look. And he looked and he went, oh, are you sitting down? And I said, uh... Oh, he said, perhaps you ought to. I said, why? He said, well, to replace just the forks, no yokes, no wheel, nothing else like that, just the forks, would be £5,649. As I said, they were quite state-of-the-art forks in the day. Not necessarily now, they, they're uh, quite old and a bit grotty. And uh, I'd quite like to put twin discs on it, so they might be getting changed at some point. Because, you know, when you've got a jigsaw motor and, as I said, a single front caliper, it's a bit airy. But anyway, um, the exhaust pipe is a one-off made by Ian at Hypertrikes. It did have a big old exhaust system on it that ran right round. It was endless um, by Andy Exhaust Tech, but uh, it just killed the power of the motor. It was all right, it was a 750 Honda, but when it was a 1100 Suzuki, it was just ridiculous. Um, four shock absorbers. I'll show you a secret of the shock absorbers at the moment. In a moment, I should say. Um, it's now got a decent headlight because for years it had, first of all, a little tiny one which was just like a candle. Then it had a pair of dommies on, which were absolutely useless and just about lit the front mudguard up. So after a while, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put a decent headlight on. It's now got a big square one off, which originally off um, the black GPZ 750, GPZ 900, sorry, chop, that was in BSH years and years ago, and given away as a competition prize. Um, handlebars are 44 inches wide and they're just enormous. Um, you can't go any wider than that, because otherwise you can't reach the end of the levers when you go to turn it around. Um, I'll go around this way a bit. The tyres are hide nails. They're, they're what was fitted to, or used to be fitted to, German spec BMW GSs, I believe. And as long as you run them at a lower tyre pressure, I remember between 20 and 25 psi, they grip like hell. You can, if you're brave or stupid, one of the two, get the pegs down. Um, I have done it. I don't intend to do it again because the handlebars are nearly on the floor when you do that. Uh, you can just set the corner of the uh, screen. You should be able to see my TARDIS. It's good that, isn't it? I oh, know, childish, hey? Proper childish. It was a shed that looked like a tardis, so I painted it blue and got some stickers made. Um, right, coming around this side, you can see all the metal work on the front, the carrying rack, the spotlight. Oh, it's actually stolen from Budgie's pile of really good stuff. I think it was off a JCB or something. And a mini speedo that's tucked in. You can hardly see it actually because it's tucked in above the top of the tank and he's utterly useless as all mini speedos are. Um, it's a mileometer really rather than speedometer because anything under about 40 mile an hour it just bounces. They are crap. Um, this side, the way you can see engine bars, very useful. Engine survived bikes have been trashed a few times. Engine bars have survived every time. Engine survived every time, I should say. Uh, the tank was a uh, standard twin cap Mustang for years. But when the engine got uh, increased in capacity, I was getting about 45 mile tank range. So it's been widened by Uncle Chufty, who did a lot of metal work on it years ago. And uh, now does, I don't know really. About 130, I think it used to be 130 with a 750 motor in. I haven't taken it much over about 110 with the 1100, but 
that's enough honestly look at that seat that's enough <laughs> mileage uh back mud guard is one that came off somewhere off budgie's pile when he rebuilt it in about 2000 um the original one had actually rotted so badly that you could put your finger right through it um and i did went to move the bike and uh, yeah uh, as you can see, the number plate does get quite a lot of poo on it, but that's never a bad thing, is it, when it comes to speed cameras? Oh, I didn't say that. I'm sure you, you misheard that completely. Uh, we've got all the way way round, so I'll come in in a moment, and I'll show you a couple of little bits that are always quite amusing. Right, let's go and have a look at this shock absorber. So, right, a pair of shock absorbers, you can see, are quite blasted by the exhaust pipe because of the, uh, <laughs> because of the fumes coming out of it. But it, for years, it had twin shocks, and it was as hard as hell. It was basically a hard sell. So a couple of years ago, given that I'm now quite old, I thought I could really do it a bit a bit softer. So if you look at them, this one is actually a dummy. Oh, is it that one? It's that one. Look, it's actually a dummy. It's made out of welding wire <laughs> and covered in uh, shrink wrap. It's actually not actually that much softer, but it doesn't quite relocate your spine as it used to. Uh, where else we? What have we got left? Right, the foot pegs and stuff in the original 750 Honda and bits of the frame in the original 750 Honda. Um, the meshing and stuff on the swing arm is all original, the tank, the rear rack is original, tank harness is kind of original but just extended, as you can see there's the crappy um, mini speedo, which really is crap, it really is, I think I've had about four of those on there, they last a while and then they just break off, because um, well, I've had this thing since 1995, yeah, Feb 95, so just over 23 years, which is terrifying for the owning of one bike isn't it right um do you want to hear it far up then so we go down i can't, obviously can't do this at the same time so switch the ignition on is it going to need choke because i was out in a little while ago but we'll see <laughs> i can walk around it it does sound quite nice doesn't it with that bike <laughs> The original Backstreet Heroes future bike. Uh, how many years? What's that? 30. What my, my math is rubbish. 34 years after it was originally built, it's still going. And if you're wondering about the Jag in the corner, nothing to do with me. It's my next door neighbours. I'm nowhere near. Look, do you think I own a bike like that? I'm going to go own a Jag. <laughs> 